It covers like a wide range of things. I think I expected it to just be for film and like narrative structure, but I think there's so many things that you can take from like abstract sound design that you can then use across all areas of it. The reason I mainly went for sound is that I do music, so I wanted to learn more of the technical aspect than just playing an instrument or singing. Don't worry if you don't have a musical background or anything. I don't think that's, like that didn't come into it at all, I felt. For me, sound design was a way for me to learn more about sound. So it's like kind of understanding it and being able to apply your knowledge to then creating your own sound pieces. Probably one of the best things about the course, actually, everyone comes from a different background. Everyone's got something else. There's no two people on the course that are alike. It broadens your perspective of it all and it gives you a better sense of you know, the, the global concept of it. And I think that's really, it was really refreshing. It's really exciting because there is like a lot of events on at Greenwich to do with sound. I think it's really important to be able to present your work. It's really nice to be asked as well, because it kind of makes you feel like your work's worth showing to people. Um, but it's really nice to see other people's work as well, because it, it always gives you ideas and you're always kind of like surprised by how someone's thought train has led to their idea. There is so much equipment, you know, you could be doing something every single day if you wanted to with equipment. You could be making something around the clock, which is what I've tried to do. I'm, I'm always in here now, it's my safe space. I had quite a lot of fun with the microphones that you put in your ears, because they look like earphones, and I kind of felt a bit, like, cheeky. Uh, we had training on the 633, and that was really good because you know that this is a proper field recording kit. the technical side shouldn't put people off. I think the creative side of it is probably like 90% of sound design. You have to be able to think creatively and use your initiative. And you find out ways of doing things that only you will end up doing those and you know you develop your own sense of a, you develop your own sound in a way I suppose.